The Clothing Center PTA helps students who need clothes to wear to school. And tonight, we are hearing from Knox County Schools and members of the Clothing Center about how the center should or shouldn't be run. This comes after the center was moved from the old Sears building to Cedar Bluff Preschool. Six on your side reporter Dominic Webster joins us now with more. The Clothing Center began in the middle of the Great Depression when students' need for clothing was high. Today, it serves the same mission. For the last several decades, the organization and KCS have operated under a handshake agreement. That agreement is now being questioned and options are on the table for how the clothing center should operate. The one issue the members of the PTA brought up, two positions funded by the school system that have not been filled. Where's the staff you promised us? Why, you've ran it twice now to hire employees. Why have we not seen any of that? That's Clothing Center PTA President Sylvia Woods. She's been with the center for more than four decades. She says without warning, they were moved from their old location. So I went to, went to the May meeting, and at that meeting, they announced, just announced, we're moving you out of the Sears building. We're moving you to Cedar Bluff. Knox County Schools Assistant Superintendent of Strategy telling us there were multiple reasons for the move. The biggest being accessibility for those who live in more rural areas of Knox County. Everything from the fact that need isn't confined to a single zip code, right? We know that clothing needs span the district and we are a very, very large district. So the idea of families driving to one location in the center city is really kind of inaccessible for families who live in the far reaches of the district. And so in that move, we were looking at moving toward a distribution model. That distribution model is how the center is currently giving out clothes for those in need. Those who are working at the clothing center are doing so as volunteers, meaning they aren't paid and are taking time out of their day to get the clothing items sorted, packed, and sent out. Susan Hager says they need someone full time to be able to process requests faster. The bottom line is staff people. The, the big thing we need are the two staff people that have been promised to us by the school system. Uh, they could be, they would be full time, so they could work a whole lot uh, more efficiently than volunteers coming in once or twice a week or trying to fill orders. Conversations about what the right direction for running the clothing center is started before the decision to move them to Cedar Bluff Preschool. That's a conversation that's been going on for a long time, just in thinking about um, kind of the capacity of a volunteer-led organization to do the work. The prior leadership over the facility was really honest with us that uh, they were struggling to kind of maintain membership and to stay afloat under uh, you know a volunteer-led model. The members of the clothing center PTA have had to overcome several obstacles as they moved in to their new building. We could not use or have access to the computers here because we're not employees. So we couldn't get on their, their computers. So we worked that out. We're using our own computers, our own email addresses. Uh, we can't see the, the child's name, but we do have the social worker's name and a, and a code. We've answered everything that they have said for us to do or that we were required to do, we've done every bit of that. In speaking with KCS and the PTA, we were told two full-time staff members are in the budget, yet those positions remain open. Sylvia Woods says when they ask about talking to those who have applied for the position, it keeps getting put off. And there are currently three options on the table for how the center will be run. One is both parties signing a memorandum of understanding or an MOU stating that the PTA will have full control of the center. Option two, looking into help from outside organizations and three, have the school system take full control of the center.